Good afternoon, Fowler family. It's Nicole coming to you from the Fowler campus on this Monday afternoon, April 27th. And I'm here to report a message I hoped I would never have to record for you. And it's to tell you that COVID has touched our campus. We remain COVID free as it relates to our residents, but today we were informed that our first employee tested positive for COVID. This is heartbreaking news at this campus. As you can imagine, we are trying to process it as we speak. We are notifying our team and our residents and calling families as well. And this video message will be the last thing that we post this afternoon to let our extended family know and anyone that we were unable to get in touch with. So let me start off by telling you what I know. This is not a direct caregiver, but it is someone that works in the Pearl Norton Care Center. They are part of our team. They have been here one day in the past 11 days for work. They called in before their scheduled shift last Friday to say that they were experiencing some illness related symptoms. Upon further inquiry over the telephone, we were able to identify some symptoms that we thought warranted them going to receive COVID testing and we instructed them to do so. They went to their physician and they were tested and of course they have not been back to work since then. And today, sadly, they received the notification from their physician that they had tested positive. Fortunately for them, they don't have any underlying health conditions. It seems to be mild at this point and we will continue to check in with them and I will ask all of you to join me in prayer for their well-being. As it relates to our campus, we're going to continue to do everything that we have been doing for the past six and a half weeks. I have to tell you personally that hearing this news was especially heartbreaking knowing how hard the team has worked to mitigate risk. And I also had to reflect on my own self and my thoughts of thinking, was it possible for us to come out the other end of this pandemic with not having it touch anyone in our resident population, which is over 350, or our employee population, which is 150? And I have to tell you, I prayed and hoped that it wouldn't. And some part of me believed that it wouldn't. And I think that's what made it all the more heartbreaking today. But here I am letting you know because that's what I said I would do and that's what we're committed to do. And so even though it's not news we want to share, we wanted you to hear it from us so that you knew exactly what had taken place. I honestly cannot think of anything else that we can be doing to mitigate risk. And I know this will give you fears or anxiety but I want you to know we're still doing all the same things that we've been doing. We're still following all of our protocols. We're still screening. We're still ensuring that we're taking every step that we can to hopefully make this our one and only case and have it be an isolated case. We are going to do all the contact tracing. Anyone that came in contact or worked in proximity with this employee will be tested. We are launching that and paying for that ourselves. And so we will know the results of that and we'll take any further steps or actions that are required at the time that we know. We're going to continue to closely monitor our residents as we have been for the past six and a half weeks. And again, thankfully, they are not exhibiting any symptoms. And so I hope that this will again be an isolated incident and one that we will live through this experience. I remember back to a video in the not too distant past when I spoke of Esther and the scripture specifically from Esther that says you were made for a time such as this. And that's what I'll remind our team because we've been working hard to do what we do at Fowler every single day. And we're gonna continue to do that. And this might've set us back on our heels a little bit. It certainly has broken our heart a little bit for our teammate, but we're gonna step forward and do what we do every day. We're gonna figure it out and we're gonna keep pursuing excellence, making a difference in the lives of those who live and work here and doing what we do best, which is love people. You see today was our Love is Our Superpower t-shirt day here at Fowler. And I certainly can just take comfort in this t-shirt because Love is the only thing that gets us through these trying times. I'm in my office and you'll see that I have a lot of inspirational quotes that are gifts that employees have given to me and a reminder of why I do what I do. But specifically, I read this one and it says, be bold in the face of adversity. 
and this is certainly adversity and I am going to be bold and I'm going to be bold along with this team and we're going to be bold along with this community and we're still going to get up and answer the call and ask ourselves what are we doing to mitigate risk as much as we can but at the end of the day it's all about love so what are we doing to love people and the thing that's going to get me through is going to be the thing that's always gotten me through it's my personal faith and my savior when i think of how much he loved and sacrificed and lived through for me it's not too hard for me to figure out how i need to be bold too so again take a collective breath with us keep us in your prayers keep our teammate um, who has COVID in your prayers and stay tuned for messages in the future.